What's up dudes and dudettes? White Wall Steve here and I'm back in the Good Enough Garage and we got the White Wall Special back in here. The S-Bomb's kinda on hiatus, might be selling it, might be getting another project, there's some weird stuff going on. But for right now, we're gonna be working on getting the custom made valve covers installed on the White Wall Special because it's taken way too long and we need to get this done. And I wanna tell you guys all about it and tell you about how we got from a vision to a reality. So let's get started on this thing. I'm White Wall Steve, and this is my Good Enough Garage. So you guys are probably wondering what the heck was going through my head when I wanted to do these custom valve covers. Why not just go get a set of aftermarket valve covers or something that's already made instead of spending seven, eight hundred dollars on a set of custom valve covers? Well, I like being original. I like doing things that nobody else has done. Yeah, there's a lot of trucks like it now, but when I first did it, when I first put the white walls on it, nobody was doing that. This engine, nobody's got a V6 like that. When I did that interior originally, nobody really had an interior like that. Everything I've done on this truck, I wanted it to be kind of a kind of an original idea. And it's really hard to do that in the world of S10s. Sometimes I nailed it, sometimes I was behind the ball and somebody did it before me. Originally when I did this engine, I wanted it to look like something that came out of a 50s or 60s Corvette. And I wanted to keep the V6 because, well, it's just easier to keep all the exhaust, keep all the stuff and instead of going straight full-blown LS or anything like that, plus I wanted it to look period correct. So I said, let's make the V6, which essentially is a small block Chevy with two cylinders missing, let's make it look like a little miniature V8. So that was where the whole shoulda had a V8 thing came from. This is a original 59 Corvette valve cover. Now it does have staggered bolts, but you can also get them for the newer style motors, newer style heads. I have a set of these on my Corvette. I wanted to make this valve cover fit the V6. We thought we could cut this and section it and you know modify an original valve cover to fit the V6, but it was just roadblock after roadblock and idea buster after idea buster. And then my friend Aaron from Bunch Pinstriping, you guys know him, you've seen him on the channel, he came up with the idea of 3D printing one. So I said, hey, if it'll make it work and won't cost me through the roof, let's do this thing. So, so I had a budget of about 500 bucks to deal with. So I said, let's get this thing done. So Aaron got me in touch with a guy named Chris St. Dennis that he worked with and he did some 3D printing and modeling on the side. And I told him I wanted to take a Corvette valve cover and make it fit a V6. So I gave him some dimensions, some rough dimensions, and this is the first one he came up with. And as you notice from the original, it's a lot narrower. It didn't even fit over top of the head. It didn't fit over top of the rockers or anything. But I thought, we're going in the right direction, and this may actually work. And what he did was he made it in pieces. And I think this one's still glued together. But it's actually two end caps, and it's split in the center, and it all snapped together like kind of like a model car. So that was kind of cool. And then we kind of did some more revising and we came up with another one. This one's a little more closer to what we came for a final product, but it had some warpage in it. You probably can't really tell on camera, but it kind of bows in it. This was like almost there, had to do one more print. So we did one more print and we came up with this. So. This is the final print, and then I had Aaron smooth out all the 3D print lines and everything. And we also did some script that said VET. And a lot of people give me shit about the VET script. I wanted it like a Corvette. We couldn't fit the whole Corvette script in there, so it's just VET. And it gives it that whole 60s, 50s vibe when in the truck. So I could go on and on about why my reasoning for that, but let's just say it's period correct, and I wanted it to be period correct. We took this one down to my friends over at Warner Brothers Foundry and I think Roseville, Michigan, but it's out on the east side of Detroit. They were able to take this and make a sand casted mold for it out of black sand. Once they did that, there's the finished product. It's made out of aluminum. 
and it's heavy. It's a lot heavier than that 3D print. The original idea was to just do three t two 3D printed ones, throw them on the truck and call it a day, but that stuff's not susceptible to a lot of heat and it's not susceptible to oil and stuff like that, so they would eventually disintegrate or warp or whatever. So we went with this, and this is actually a lot cooler because it definitely adds to that whole 50s, 60s vibe. If you guys know the original V6, it has three holes for screws. Well, this is exterior, so how did I fix that? I had Aaron make up some adapters out of small block Chevy adapters and fit it to a head that I gave him, an extra head, and this will fit like that. And then we're gonna actually silicone this straight to the head because it's never gonna have to come off. And then we're gonna make a gasket between this and the valve cover. I went and bought some gasket material from Summit and we're gonna open that box here in a second and we're gonna try to get a template made up and get all that cut out. There is, however, a downside to all of them. If you guys notice on these valve covers, there's no holes. There's, I didn't want any holes. I, didn't, I thought it would look crappy and tacky. So since there's no holes, there's nowhere to put oil in this motor. So if you want to put oil in it, you got to take the valve cover off. Kind of sucks, but until I can come up with some other avenue to put oil in it, that's what we got to deal with. So anyway, we're going to go ahead. I'll pull you guys over. We'll open up the Summit box, take a look at that gasket material, and we'll get that all set. All right, guys, so let's open this up and see what we got from Summit, see if I even ordered the right shit. I'm not used to using fancy knives. I usually use a screwdriver. Okay. Stickers, always. Two big rolls. A Felpro gasket material. How do you get this shit off of here? E. Oh, there we go. Alright. That should be enough to do, well shit, one roll will be enough to do two of these fuckers. So, off camera, I'm gonna go ahead and get these all done. See you in a bit. All right, so I got the gasket all done. I actually finished up the other side. Got that one done first so I could figure out exactly how to do this. But I got the gasket all done, put on. So next up, we got the adapter. I also had to modify the adapters a little bit because they were hitting the rockers. These are also marked top and A and B, so we know which adapters for what. But one thing, once these adapters go on the engine, they're staying there. I'm not pulling them off. So what I do is I lay just a nice little bead of silicone on it, bolt it down to the head, and then it's there. So let's get that valve cover off and let's get this thing mounted onto the head. Okay, so we'll pull this valve cover off. I already got it unbolted and everything. Okay, so I got this stuff right here. It's a little bit easier. It lays a nice little bead, so you don't really have to do a whole lot extra. So you can just put it on there and just lay her down. So now that we got that on there, we can pop this on and go ahead and get it bolted in. All right, and now we got the valve cover bolted down. Had some trouble with that adapter. Uh, had to modify it a little bit more to get it to fit the three holes. But now they're on and they're in, and they look awesome. So let's fire this thing up and make sure we don't have any valve ch or any uh, rocker chatter on those adapters. So let's fire it up. So that's going to pretty much do it for this episode. 
Just wanted to get those valve covers on. We got new custom valve covers. Very cool. So I'll see you guys next time on the White Wall Steve Good Enough Garage. I'm out.